Welcome back. More than 800,000 people have fled the fighting in Ukraine. Most of them are women and children. Men between the ages of 18 and 60 are banned from leaving the country and being asked to fight back. And as the assault on Ukraine continues, a lot of San Diegans are looking for ways to help. Right. You can't help but feel for all the people they are trying right. to escape, the people who are in harm's way. So for that part of our coverage, we're going to turn now to CBS 8's data Marie McNichol. She's going to explain how to make sure your donations are going straight to the people who need that money most. Good morning, Dana Marie. Good morning to you both. Well, here at the House of Ukraine in Balboa Park, a grassroots effort is being underway. We're just being told that Ukrainian people here in San Diego are asking for the public's help in collecting supplies. Now, a flight is being chartered from LAX to Romania every five days with supplies. People are asking for medical kits army vests and shields as well as thermal blankets because of those harsh winter conditions people are experiencing many people in those bomb shelters. So here at the House of Ukraine, it is open daily, not only on the weekends from noon to four. This is where you could bring those supplies if you have them here. Now, with that being said, many nonprofits are asking for cash donations because of how expensive it is to send physical supplies over to Ukraine. Now, we did speak with a Salvation Army who is a legitimate organization saying that their cash has already helped people there. Well, people certainly have uh, wanted to help and are very touched by this situation. And it's certainly easy to give blankets or clothing, but almost impossible for us to get in there. And the cost of shipping to get there would just be phenomenal. Now, that was Colonel Leela Scanso, who says at the Salvation Army's website, people can select an option ensuring every single dollar of what they give does go straight to Ukraine. The organization already has sites in Ukraine and in the surrounding area, so the impacts of your dollar is already being felt by people there. The donations collected so far have provided some hygiene kits, shelter, as well as helped people get to safety. Now, while the Salvation Army is a good place to start, there are a number of ways you can give. So CharityNavigator.org has recommended a dozen organizations to help in the Ukrainian crisis. They're a website that helps filter out nonprofits that make sure your dollar goes directly to Ukraine. They do point out to check to see if they that nonprofit you decide to donate with is registered as a 501 C3 nonprofit before you send any money to Ukraine. Now, again, that grassroots effort here at the House of Ukraine in Balboa Park, the supplies they need, medical kits, army helmets, shields, as well as thermal blankets to be delivered here from noon to four daily. That will then be sent to Romania where people will pick it up and be sent to Ukraine. This is what we're being told just today. New information for you this afternoon if you're looking for ways to help and send supplies overseas.